Mike Cannon-Brooks, why did you decide to attend the UN Climate Action Summit? So we're here on Atlassian's behalf to announce uh, a new step up in our commitments. Um, we have previously committed to using 100% renewable energy by 2025, and we're now committing to, uh, in line with the UN initiative, uh, moving to a net zero carbon business by 2050 uh, with uh, setting a series of science-based targets. For other business leaders who are watching, what is Atlassian practically doing? Uh, so on the renewable energy side, uh, you can uh, transition your energy provider um, to someone that provides renewable energy. Secondly, you should obviously look at your energy usage. So there's a lot of things we can do inside our offices in terms of emission reduction, you know, changing light bulbs, appliances, all sorts of other things. And then when it comes to the net zero by 2050 commitment, uh, that involves looking at our, our entire supply chain after that. So for us, that's things like data centers um, and transportation. What effect will the pursuit of the net zero by 2050 target have on Atlassian's future profitability? I would contend it'll be good for our profitability over the long term. Um, firstly, it's a huge, you know, climate uh, change is a huge um, uh, problem affecting the global economy and businesses. So anything that makes our business more sustainable economically uh, is going to be good for our shareholders in the long term. Uh, secondly, if you look at, um, you know, by the end of this week, we'll have five of the 10 largest companies in Australia representing more than 20% of the market cap of the ASX signing up to 100% renewable energy targets. A lot of those businesses are doing it both for positive climate reasons, but also because it's going to save those businesses money to, to move in that direction. Um, and that's, that's part of the opportunity for businesses. What kind of government policy settings would make it easier for businesses to be proactive in the climate change arena? There's a lot of things we could be doing. Um, you know, we don't, we don't have a credible climate or energy policy in Australia at the moment. And so any policy at all with stability would be the first thing that business would ask for. Um, one of the challenges we've had in procuring renewable energy in a lot of places is where there's no long-term government policy that people can believe in. That just means the risk premium and prices go up for that thing. It's very hard. From a concrete perspective, I think the government should um, firstly set, as I said, concrete targets both for renewable energy uh, by 2035 uh, and secondly to how we're going to get to a net zero uh, carbon economy by 2050. Um, but what I'd like the government to do is really look at the opportunity for Australia in this space. Recently, the Assistant Minister to the Prime Minister, Ben Morton, gave a speech in which he said that corporations should focus on profits, shareholders and customers and not promote social issues at the expense of policies on job creation. What do you think about that? Yes, I think he also said something like uh, you should leave the important issues to the government to deal with and then they spent a week talking about whether almond milk should be called almond milk. Um, look, I, uh, look, obviously I'm... I'm don't listen to those comments. Uh, look, climate change is affecting the Australian economy. It's affecting businesses. It's affecting individuals, our employees. Uh, you saw that with millions and millions of people coming out on Friday. I think it's not an issue that business should have its head in the sand on. There are 86 other businesses alongside Atlassian signing up uh, to the UN Global Compact for Net Zero. All of those businesses, I think, would say this is an issue that they need to be taking a stronger stance on. Um, and that means they should be speaking out in, uh, in a, government, a government vacuum. Mike Cannon-Brooks, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.